Hey there, puzzlers! My name is Fleb, and today I want to show you a classic disentanglement puzzle known as the Eureka, or originally as the Wit's End. The object is to take this central ring off of the center post, but doing so is, is very tricky. If you try to take it straight off the top, you can make it past the blue bead, but the end pieces are too big for the ring to fit through. The other thing you can do is fit the end pieces through the central hole to bring it over to the other side, but the blue beads don't fit through. The reason that I'm covering this puzzle is that many modern disentanglement puzzles are variations on this design, and so understanding it helps you to understand a lot of puzzles that are currently available. The Whitsun was originally invented in the 1960s by Robert Boomhauer. I've linked the original patent in the description below, but beware, it does contain the solution for the original puzzle. The original puzzle that Robert Boomhauer patented, however, was not this version, with the loop around the center. It was another version, without this loop. Now I've taken mine, and I've broken it, so I can reconfigure this without the loop in the center. In order to understand the version of this puzzle with the single loop around the center, we need to understand the one without the loop. I'm going to solve this version first, and then I'm going to solve the version with the single loop around the center. Let's get started. The reason that this no loop version is not as commercially available as the single loop is that there aren't that many moves that you can make on this. And so a lot of solving this puzzle involves where you can move rather than where you should move. So we know that we can't take this straight over the top, so we have to do something with this end piece. So let's put it to the center. Now we can move up over the top. If we put this blue bead on the top, we can bring the ring up and over. Now that it's over on the right, it's actually on the outside of these two pieces. So if you look at it through this hole, it comes straight off. This helps us to understand the single loop version of this puzzle. The single loop version of the puzzle is much harder to solve if you don't understand the original wit's end. But once you've understood that solution, let's take a look at how we can use it to help us here. If we look at the bottom piece of the loop and ignore the rest of it, this may look familiar. It looks like the no loop version of the wit's end puzzle. So if we perform the same set of moves, we should get closer to the solution. Perhaps even move this ring over this rope and get in the center. Let's see that. We can bring the end piece through, bring the blue bead up to the top, and bring the ring over. Taking it back through the hole is the last move in the no loop solution to this puzzle. Bringing the end piece back through gets us into this position. This is an odd position. It may not be clear that we've actually helped ourselves by doing these moves, but we definitely have. If we put this back on the central pillar, you can see that we're now in a situation where the ring is in between the top and the bottom parts of the loop. Now if we look at the top part of the puzzle, and ignore the rest. It looks again like the no-loop wit's end case. So if we apply the same moves, we should be able to take the ring off. Putting the end through the puzzle, bringing the blue bead up to the top, and bringing the ring over, allows us to bring it back through and off of the puzzle. If you are interested in more puzzle content, please subscribe below. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and happy puzzling.